Hi, my name is Sadie. And my name is Ruby. Today we will be talking about how venom may cure cancer. A scientist at the University of Illinois, Dr. Pan, and his team said they may have found a way to stop cancer cell growth according to a paper presented at the American Chemical Society conference this week. The work is still in very early stages, but has successfully stopped breast cancer and melanoma. Pan's technique uses nanotechnology to deliver an element similar to the venom found in bees, scorpions, and snakes. In the ancient times, doctors have used venom to treat sickness for years. The problem with injecting venom to cure cancer is that it can have harmful side effects, but Pan is using technology to separate proteins and peptides. This is giving us a huge step to finding a cure to cancer. That's it for today's story. Now to our field report. Action. Hi, my name is Nicole. And my name is Owen. Summer is coming to an end. And DP is starting to get back into full swing. DP cheerleaders and band members are starting to practice for the upcoming school year. The students have been working very hard with full days of practice. This will have them ready for the busy sports season ahead. The, this DP program offered, offered youth camps during the summer to reach the community. Be sure to come out for the home DP football game on August 29th and see their hard work in action. I'm Nicole. And I'm Owen. Now back to the studio. Thanks for the great field report. Now over to sports. Welcome to your sports news, I'm Joe. And I'm Sam. Last night in baseball, the Kansas City Royals beat the Oakland Athletics, which moved them to first place, American League Central. This is the first time in, since 2003 that the Kansas City Royals have been first place. Now on to football. The quarterback, Brian Hoyer and Johnny Manziel for the Browns are competing for the position as quarterback. Go Johnny Manziel! That's all we, all we have for today. I'm Sam. And I'm Joan. Have fun, have an, uh, and have a fantastic day.